let's continue with XNORNet. Uh, any questions about XNORNet? So the idea here is that you want to binarize your convolutional neural networks or your neural networks. You can have binary weights, you can have binary inputs. And because you binarize it, it's going to use less memory. And at the same time, it's going to be faster. So any questions about it? There is a question. Can you explain why having a binary filter remove multiplication from convolution? Yes, of course. So what is going to be a binary filter or a binary weight? The values in it are either going to be one or negative one. And when you do multiplication, the positive ones are going to stay positive. The negative ones, if they are multiplying by a negative one, they're going to get positive. Or if you have a number that is positive and you multiply it by a negative sign, it's going to become negative. And then the rest of it is just uh, adding these up. So you can just think of whenever a number is positive, you're just adding. And whenever you have some negative, you're subtracting. There is no need to multiply negative one by a number. Uh, not really. So it's totally different from doing multiplication. For multiplication, you're multiplying, for instance, negative 1.2 by this other number, negative 0.21. But there is no point in multiplying negative 1 by negative 0.21 because you can just subtract it. Mathematically, in our heads, there is going to be multiplication going on, but there is no need to do it on your computer. You can just subtract. Okay, perfect. And you're saying the floating point cuts down on the computation. Yes, so you don't have to do negative 1.2 and then multiply by a number. And that's why that multiplication goes away. And as soon as you have your input being binarized as well, then everything is going to be XNOR operations. And these are exactly what your computer is suited to do. That's basically operations on zero and ones. That's how your computers think. There is another question. Is binarizing or binarization something that would work well on all networks or should you only think about this with a large network? Uh, you can do it on all of your networks. I think the method is general enough. They're doing it on the convolution. Perhaps they're doing it on AlexNet, but you can do it on any architecture that you have and see what happens. This is going to end up being lossy, so you're going to lose some accuracy especially if you binarize your intermediate layers. Does that answer your question? Okay, any other ones? So this paper is an illustration that the idea actually works, going to the extreme of your weights and biases being just zeros and ones, or negative ones and ones. So there is a comment in the chat that you want to point out that the O plus sign here might be a misuse of symbol so why do you say that? Um, I think it has a, a meaning when used between matrices for direct sum, like the um, putting matrices together on the diagonal format. And in this um, context, it just means it does not involve any multi multiplications. Yes, and that's why there is an arrow here trying to clarify it. So here it just means it's a convolution without any uh, multiplication, only additions. But yes, you're right. But the thing is with deep learning, you need to be a little bit less sensitive to the choice of notation. You are not always going to, these are not mathematicians writing these papers. These are computer scientists. So they are not careful enough with the notation, but they are really careful when they implement it on their computers. Okay, otherwise, it's not going to work. Any other feedback?